Hi guys, my name is Trevor with Ask Me Anything Lawn Care. If you have a question, go ahead and leave that in the comments. Today, I'm going to be answering what is the best way to get rid of moles? Get rid of raccoons digging in my yard. Why are raccoons digging in my yard? Why are armadillos, skunks, possums digging in my yard? They're all looking for grubs. And uh, another reason to prevent grubs is like, why are there these random dead patches in my lawn? Well, if you're watering right, chances are good, it's grubs. Today, I'm going to be covering, or really, effective and safe active ingredient, chlorintranilaprol. Uh, the liquid version is acelaprin. This is kind of industry standard for pros, is acelaprin. It just lights out for grubs. And the active ingredient, chlorintranilaprol, is also, you're going to be familiar with this product, Grub -X. It's been the active ingredient in Grub -X for a while. So how safe is Grub -X or acelaprin or chlorintranilaprol? Well, if you isolated just the active ingredient out, I did the math. The LD50 on this is 5 grams of active ingredient or 5,000 milligrams of active in ingredient per kilogram. For my body weight, I would have to drink almost 14 of these to die half of the time. And they actually couldn't establish the LD50 because it's beyond 5,000 milligrams per kilogram. That's just where they cut off the testing and said this stuff doesn't even require a signal word when you spray it. You don't have to say, gosh, and stay out of the yard. I could drink this whole bottle and I'd probably get sick. but not likely to kill me. Um, and then if you want to convert that to Grubex, you'd have to eat 39 of the big bags to die 50% of the time and about 79 of the smaller bags if it was just isolated to the active ingredient. Obviously there's probably a lot of other garbage and filler in that that'll kill you first, so wouldn't recommend that. I uh, wouldn't recommend any, eating any of it. I'm actually going to be wearing uh, per the label uh, chemical resistant boots, long pants, long sleeves, got my sprayer, I've got my mixer, I've got some water in this already. I'm gonna show you how I do any pesticides, herbicides, anything that requires more accuracy. Basically, I do everything by weight. I don't trust volume when dealing with precision, so I recommend getting a 100 pack of these. These are just a extended reach micro pipette or a pipette. I don't know what the rating is on this, how big it is, but I don't know. If I had to guess, it's probably 20 cc's around that ballpark. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be met metering out my acelaprin with that using a scale. The grams to ounces for acelaprin is 32.2 grams per ounce. And then the rate, I think it, the low rate for acelaprin is somewhere in the ballpark of like 5.9 grams per thousand square feet. And then the high rate is just under 12 grams per thousand square feet. So if you just round 6 grams, 12 grams, you'll be fine. I'm going to be running the high rate. I'm actually treating for grubs a little late. High rate is a little late. High rate is a little late. Hippopotamus flows like glow like phosphorus popping off the top of this esophagus rocking this metropolis um, So one question would be when is the best time to treat for grubs and in my area? I'm in a cooler climate. So probably May or June in warmer areas April or May is probably the best time to treat for grubs with the celebrant the grub X version is totally fine too so you buy grub X if you prefer to spread granular buy a celebrant if you prefer liquid and if you have a really large property I would recommend a celebrant because in the bigger bottle it is a better value liquid is always going to cover just a little better it's going to be more consistent where the granules if water hits it if there's you know six inches of rain happens overnight say goodbye to that application where the liquid, you water it in a little bit, you're good. And you know, good idea to water in the Grubex as well. Two large bags of Grubex is almost as much active ingredient as a four ounce bottle of a Celebrin. So a small bag's supposed to treat 5,000 square feet, a large bag's supposed to treat 10,000 square feet. This is Celebrin is somewhere in the ballpark of 20,000 square feet or about 5,000 square feet per ounce, roughly. This yard here is about 2,400 square feet. So 2.4 times 12, so. I'm going to be putting about 28 grams of this. So I'm going to shake this. All right, so I'm going to turn on my scale. This is a micro scale. I recommend you get one. It's just like a little jewelry scale. The brand on the one I have is Accuate. I'll show you the primary reason I like flow zones is I can put any tip in this thing. So this is a TTI 11004, so turbo T-jet induction. And this is gonna give you really big droplet size. This is why I, I love this spray tip for anything soil applicated. There's another tip, air induction is a great one for foliar applications and almost anything else like herbicides, but for grub, grub control and fertilizer, this is where this tip really shines. This is my go-to for fertilizer, which is the main thing I spray. TTI 110. 
0, 4. You probably saw me verticutting the lawn. That was just to refresh the stripes so I can better see where I'm going. And these stripes, I just put them in there so they're not really burned in yet, but they're good enough where I can kind of see where I am. And I, when I'm spraying, I like to do a double wide stripe and I like to go right up the middle of the stripe and then right in between the two stripes. So I get double, perfect double coverage that way. So I'm good. I weighed out the acilaprin, mixed it in with water. It makes no difference how much water you get in here as long as you have even coverage. I could do a quarter gallon of water, I could do four gallons of water, I can do 30 gallons of water, whatever, as long as I have the right amount of active ingredients. Let me just show you this flow zone money. There's this many settings on the Typhoon, there's this many settings on the Cyclone. So I've got the Cyclone, it's the lower pressure one and it's going to give you a little more PSI control. All right, so I'm gonna spray again just to get all this out of my tank. I like to spray once, take note of how much water is left. That tells me exactly how much I just used. Then I can fill up at about a quarter gallon and then I can spray exactly the right amount pretty much. 60% of the time, it works every time. Treat for grubs. If you want to take it to the next level with raccoons, sometimes they are a little more stubborn. These animals are also digging for earthworms, especially after a harder rain. Those earthworms will come up to the surface at night. If you really need to treat for worms, that's not really a thing, but there are ways to do it if you need, but I probably shouldn't make a video on that. It's definitely off-label. So to tell if it's grub damage, pull on the grass. If it pulls right up, it's probably grubs ate the roots. If you pull on it and it's still there, you know, you're probably talking about drought stress or possibly a fungus if you're not watering correctly, especially, or if you're in a humid and hot area, yeah, you're gonna have some fungus issues. Go ahead and ask me anything, ideally about lawn care, especially if you want it answered. I will answer those questions as long as I can. If, if I do get too many people subscribing, I obviously won't be able to get to every question, but I will try my best. Equipment, uh, TTI 11004 tip. Flow Zone Cyclone is what I use. You can get a Typhoon as well. Costs a little extra. It's going to probably weigh a little more because it will have a bigger pump. And then the Typhoon is a little more versatile, but it's going to be a little less accurate for lawn use. I kind of like this Cyclone. I will put the ounces and the grams, all those conversions down in the description. Go ahead and read those if you want to know your rates. With this product, if you overapply a little bit, not going to hurt anything. If you underapply a little bit, it might not be as effective, but you're not going for 100% effective with grubs anyway. There will still be grubs out here even after applying this, but there's just gonna be a lot less of them. Their life cycles are different, there's different types of grubs. So many people have asked, told me to make a YouTube channel. I even had a YouTuber knock on my door recently and he said, you gotta start a YouTube channel. And my wife's been telling me that forever. Friends and family have been telling me. Uh, for mixing, I do like this square bucket. It just doesn't splash as much as a round bucket. Any sides I mix in the tank anyway, but for fertilizer, square bucket's awesome. That'll be in a different video. Thanks guys, see you next time.